What's up? Good morning, Raider Nation. I am the Commish. This is your Raider Reaction Morning Show. And we're going to kick it off first with what the fuck happened in sports history today, November 18th, 1905. The 10th Iron Bowl. Already 10 them motherfuckers at 1905. Alabama beats Auburn 30 to nothing in Birmingham. 1949, your National League batting leader, batting 342. Jackie Robinson wins the National League Most Valuable Player. That is an important date in uh, sports history right there on what the fuck happened today. 1964, the Baltimore Orioles third baseman Brooks Robinson wins the American League MVP. An amazing third baseman. If you've never watched highlights of Brooks Robinson, that dude was the real deal. 1970, Joe Frazier, smoking Joe, KOs Bob Foster in the second round for the heavyweight boxing title. In 1981, Philadelphia Phillies, another great third baseman, Mike Schmidt, wins his second consecutive National League MVP. Sticking in the baseball realm, 1987, the Cubs, the Hawk, Andre Dawson, is the first player in Major League Baseball history from a last place team to win an MVP. In 1990, Art Monk becomes the third player in NFL history to amass 700 career receptions when he makes four catches against the pathetic New Orleans Saints. 1997, on what the fuck happened today in sports history, November 18th. The Arizona Diamondbacks and the Tampa Bay Devil Rays were granted expansion teams in the Major League Expansion Draft. And that is what the fuck happened today in sports history, November 18th. Now, yesterday was a big win for the Raiders, third in a row. All of the highlights from the game. Check him out. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. Let's go, bring it up. Yes, sir. Let's go. Hey, everybody, ain't nothing left to be said. Go out and put it out there for each other. Let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Here's Derek Carr with the pitch to Jacobs. And Jacobs with a lot of running room, fighting his way across the 45. Finley under pressure, got hit from behind, and the ball is loose inside the 30-yard line. Give it again. Finley looking left all the way, and it's incomplete. Take anybody lightly, as we've already seen in this game. Carr. Wide open over the middle. That is complete to Tyrell Williams, and Williams brought down. Third and six. Carr escapes the pressure, throws, and caught at the 45-yard line. Carr on the other side of the field. Diving catch is made by Hunter Renfro. Carr to throw. Over the middle, wide open inside the 10. To the 5, to about the 2 is Darren Waller. 11th play of this drive. Carr. Throwing back this way, how wide open can you be? Foster Moreau, the rookie out of LSU, with his fourth touchdown catch of the season. So here's the third and seven again. Finley with time, throwing, and that pass is incomplete. Derek Carr, just how much further along he is now this season compared to what it was a year ago, and then we talked about the improved play of the offensive line. That one is right on the money and out of bounds at midfield is Tyrell Williams. To have success. This is Jacob. And Jacob. Carr going to throw for it. And that is complete to the end zone. Hunter Renfro. See, he'll be marked down at about the two and a half. Carr. Looking. Going to try to run it. And gets to the end zone for the touchdown. I tell you what, Greg, that was a spectacular play. I don't know how he saw the defenders and the way he was able to make the first coming out in the second half. Pulled it very well and made the transition pretty smooth. 
to throw it on third and one. And wide open over the middle to Hunter Renfro and Renfro. Andre Washington in the backfield. They fake it to him. Carr throwing and hits his man across the 30 to the 32. That's Tyrell Williams. Carr looking left, throwing left. That is complete. And he won't get to first down. Finley, under pressure, goes down at the 10-yard line. Max Crosby. At least all the early indication is it doesn't look very good. On first down, Carr. And Carr hits his man, Darren Waller. And Waller with a huge game. This is Jacobs. Jacobs with room. 30, 25, 20, and out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Carr, quick pass to the side. Hunter Renfro, close to first down yardage. Let's see where they mark him down. Carr will hand it off to Alec Ingold. And he does. That's like going up against Bobby Hart. Finley under pressure and going down back at the 45-yard line. Max Crosby. You want to try to take advantage of it. Finley, good protection. Rowing. That's complete and incomplete. Falls out of the hands of Giovanni Bernard. Finley stepping up. Going deep. Incomplete intended for Damian Willis. Carr. Wide open in the middle of the field is Waller once again. And Waller with a huge gain to midfield. Finley. Trying to spin out of trouble, goes down. Five times Finley's been sacked today, second and 19. On the move, directing traffic, throwing, intercepted. The rookie Mullen. <laughs> Trayvon Mullen. We were on location with the Orlando Raider Nation. Hell, why don't we take you there? Check it out. Whoa, whoa. That's six and four, I'm pretty sure. I'm not, I'm not real great at math, but I think that's six and four. We got a little Raider reaction. Post game, week 11, on location with the Orlando Raider Nation. Victory formation is, is at hand, six and four. And for all you motherfuckers out there um, that lost because y'all on the spread, go to rehab. All that matters is... Six and four. What do you want, man? What do you want? <laughs> Nation, where you at? Stand up, baby. Stand up. Be heard. Let them know where, where we at. That Get in there. And now, to wrap up our show, the Raider. Quote of the day. We would rather be feared than respected. Words from the Godfather, Al Davis. Have a kick-ass day, Raider Nation. I'm out. Peace, love. Raider Nation.